from and, and the, and the three CDC's breakdown of how this is being paid for it, it mentions uh, corporate and philanthropic contributions. Of, do these what what are those and do those agencies get anything in return? And we got five million that we get from Fifth Third, and then uh, they put in ten million dollars, eleven million dollars of corporate funds. They get a credit, a tax credit, uh, but they are charging us a half a point of interest. One half of one percent. So if you took that number and you ask what would it would have cost us if we borrowed it conventionally, let's take the six percent. There's a five and a half percent swing every year. That's five hundred and fifty thousand dollars on a ten million dollar investment every year for that seven year period, which translates into almost four million dollars, a little over four million dollars. So that's another. Okay. Uh, what is the urban redevelopment loan? And, uh, is their interest into what banking No, it's not in the bank. There's no interest in it. It's a state loan. Uh, it has to be paid off in five years. Okay. It's state money. But we obligate ourselves to pay. So the only money the city put up was the $4 million. We pay them seven and a half. And all the revenue that comes in can't be taken out of the asset. It has to stay within the asset. It stays within that garage. It either approves the garage or pays debt. And if we pay debt, and the moment that debt gets completely paid off, that hands it back to them. But everything else we're doing, scoreboard, skating rink, everything we buy, city owns it. It's not as bad a deal as you think it is, brother. It's <laughs> well, good for the city. Well, it's good to get clear, you know, because... Uh, it's good I, for the city. I've, I've heard, you know, different information from different sources. I know, and, and I... And, and, and just trying to get it clear. I, I want you to believe me in the heart of hearts, man. This is going to be a good thing for us. Well, well, Pittsburgh's not feeling that way. Why is that? With their downtown redevelopment. With Lord and & Taylor and, and Lazarus. No, Lazarus. Lazarus. Yeah, they both, bit the, they both took, took the... They both failed. Yeah. I understand. Yeah, we're but, we're facing the same situation here. Only we're five years behind Pittsburgh. I wouldn't say that. I know. I just came from there. Yeah, and, I know and you I did. I screwed up both those deals, so I know. Okay. I made both those deals. Okay. But I made mistakes, and I made some good ones. So okay. What kinds of what kinds of market studies have been done for the in terms of adding twenty thousand square feet of commercial space? Twenty thousand. In Vine Street, I'm changing. Okay, but twenty thousand. Uh, oh, uh, there's no. Oh, we're taking that there's risk. There's no. No. Market no. studies? No. So we've got vacant downtown commercial space, we've got vacant Vine Street space, well, and we're now, not doing retail. now with the banks? We're not doing retail. And the banks were hoping for residential development. That's what the camera did. Oh, we're just filming, just... Uh, yeah, but just don't, don't do that. That's, I, I, well, we're just trying to get some answers, so, you okay, know, it's a lot of information, but... That, you can... You should, first of all, you should tell somebody you're doing that. Oh, I thought you I mean, knew, that's but... just respect. I mean, okay. I, well, we're filming. I, do, you have, do you have a problem with that? I mean, uh, we're just trying to get some answers. It's I not going to be that. on TV or anything. It's just, I don't, I, it's I, just I, so we can go back and, and, just, and evaluate just, the information. It's just, it's just common courtesy. That's all I'm saying. Okay. Well, I'll turn it off. No, you can, I mean, I just, just okay. So okay. I don't understand what you're doing. Well, I guess my, my question is, we've got so much... We are, the corporations are willing to take that risk. With, the corporations yeah. are going to take the risk with public money. Which public money? Well, 2.4 is going into the housing. The 2.4, but then the, the TIF money is going into the Vine Street project. Not into the parking space. And in your, in your calculations, you didn't, you didn't adjust anything for the cost of services that are going to be required within that TIF district that, that aren't being paid for by the TIF district. Let me tell you something. Do you know the cost of services that are, that are over the Vine now? Do you know I, what it costs over there? No. It's unbelievable. Tell me. How much does it cost? It's probably, well, there were 150 police calls. You tell me, at that corner at 12th and 5th. 150 police calls. Now, is your solution that we keep it as is? No, I'm not saying that. What, no, I'm, just, I'm just wondering who's looking out for the public on these transactions. Well, well we're putting $14 million in it, so we're trying to assume some responsibility. Well, I, I can understand that. And I think these guys are committed to doing that and mm -hmm. trying to prove the name. Now, we can all sit there and second guess it which everyone has a right to do and has a right to ask questions, and we certainly respect that. On the other hand, we're, we're not sitting around waiting for somebody else to do something. We're trying to take some risks. There's people out there taking risks. And there's, you know, I, I will tell you that there are some serious problems in the neighborhood. Of course there are. And we, and, and you know, there are uh, levels of crime there that are off the charts. Mm -hmm. 
So we can sit there and say, we do nothing, we gotta go do market studies, we gotta go do pre-sales. We do that, we'll never get anything done. So, if, but at the same time, if we're gonna, if we're gonna ask the public for some money, we better come to the table with some money. I think, I think you'll see, you'll see that we've done that. I guess what I'm, what I'm concerned about is who's looking out for the public. Well, you know, the public is involved in this. The city council's approved this. So they have to approve it. They'll have to give us consideration. They have to get briefed. They understand what the project is. And, uh, and uh, you know, we obviously are, are custodian and have responsibilities if we are going to utilize public money and we have to be held accountable. Okay. So we intend to be held accountable.